Hello, in this video I take another scene I created in Cycles and try to make it look good in Eevee. A quick note right at the beginning, if you are offended by computer generated female body parts, then I advise you to stop the video now. I am using Blender 2.8 Alpha 2 at this point. The scene I chose for today's video is one that I think might work really well in Eevee. It might not be the greatest piece of 3D art ever created, but I personally think it looks interesting and this kind of sci-fi theme might be a really good fit for Eevee. Here I opened the file in 2.8 cycles. Let's look around quick. In the center we have a floating body with lots of floating flying hair. The body is heavily backlit with several spotlights to almost make it a silhouette. Around the body we have a tube of light and along that there are several glass spheres. These spheres also have a blue light rim around them. The background consists of some abstract patterns. The entire look is sort of a holographic scene with lights and light patterns and a natural human element as the focal point. Blender 2.8 opened the two layers in two collections. And here in Cycles I believe the entire scene looks pretty much the same as it did in 2.79. Now let's switch over to Eevee and see what we get. First let me switch off the overlays so we get a clean rendered view here. And hide the three cylinders and torus in the background. I switch on the bloom effect right away since this scene's look heavily depends on it. And in Eevee we won't have to do glare effects in the compositor. I turn down the intensity to 0.15. I turn up the resolution on the path of the light tube to make it much rounder. Let's look at the material of the glass spheres. The light rim on the outside, which is mixed in with a layer weight, seems to work just fine. But the glass material itself is not really transmissive. So I switch on Screen Space Reflections and also Refraction on the Render tab and Screen Space Refraction on the Material tab. The quality of the refractions is not very high so I turn the trace quality all the way up to 1 and also change the viewport samples to 64 and the render samples to 256. I increase the roughness a little so it looks interesting. Now for the body. This model and skin material has been created using Manuel Bastioni Lab. Link is in the description. The material is made for cycles and I guess I'll just make a quick new one for EV using a principled node. Plug in the skin color map, switch on subsurface scattering globally and subsurface translucency for the skin material. Set subsurface to 0.03 roughness to 0.7. Plug in the bump map and turn up the bump value just a little to 0.1. These node groups here are for reflections. I'm not going to bother at the moment since the principal shader already takes care of general reflections. The hair seems to be missing. Actually it is just totally black. The material setup here does not work in Eevee, so I changed this output to be for cycles and create a new output for Eevee. Using the new principled hair node, we notice it doesn't work in Eevee yet, so instead we will use a principled BSDF instead. Reuse the setup for randomizing the color a bit, turn up the roughness to 0.8. The hair strands look very low poly. So in the render tab we switch the hair over to strip and additional subdiv to 2 or even 3. Now in the particle system we can also increase the display amount of the children, something that really kills the viewport in cycles but is just fine here in Eevee. The hair looks ok now and we can rotate around in real time, which is pretty amazing. Now the lights for creating this heavy rim lighting we had in cycles don't seem to be strong enough. So let me just hide the entire first collection so we only have the body and the lights and hide all spot lamps except for this one. One thing to remember is that in Eevee a light is not controlled by the node tree as you can see here. Output node is undefined but rather by the settings here in the light data tab. 
So to make a light brighter, I increase the energy value to 7. I also switch on contact shadows, set the softness to 0, the bias to 5 and the exponent to 0. These numbers very much depend on the scene and look you want and I have figured them out beforehand by simply playing around a lot. Then I set all the other spotlights to pretty much the same values. The skin looks too plasticky now, so I turn the subsurface scattering down to 0.01. Notice how we get some subsurface artifacts in some places due to the bright lights. Except for turning down the light energy, I have not found a way to get rid of those. So this is what we have so far, looking really cool already. Now let's take care of the background. First I unhide this cylinder, which is just heavily deformed and displaced and has this material made up from a few procedural textures to create random yellowish rectangles using an emission shader. We want a little bit of bloom effect here as well, so I turn up the emission strength to 10. Unhide the inner cylinder and fix the material. Here we mix between an emission and a transparent shader. For transparent things to actually be see-through, we have to change the blend mode here to alpha blend. Now we can see the blue rectangles of this material and see through to the outer cylinder with the yellow spots. The third cylinder here has a mask and wireframe modifiers on it, so the material is just an emission shader that works fine. Finally, I unhide the torus, which has a similar material to the spheres, and is basically just in the scene to round off the corners of the square composition. In the cycles render I have used depth of field, so let's enable this here also. Switch it on in the render settings and select the camera and set an f-stop value of 1.2. Here we have it, the entire scene converted from cycles to EV. And here is the comparison. Refractions always look very good in cycles. But in this case right here, I actually like the glass spheres in EV better. They have more detail and look more interesting. For more info on that topic, you can watch my transmissive materials in EV video. The skin looks very different, but for this kind of image, the EV render looks really good, at, I think. One important thing to notice here is that in cycles, the winding light tube that goes around the woman actually emits light and lights up the skin. In EV emission shaders on meshes do not actually emit light, for now at least, but they do glow nicely with the bloom effect. So the skin and hair is noticeably darker in the EV render now, which I intentionally did not correct by adding more light so we can see the difference here. The depth of field in cycles generates very nice bokeh. In EV it is very simple. I tried lowering the f-stop on the camera to get more blur in the background, but that introduced some ugly artifacts. The hair in cycles looks much more realistic than in Eevee, because the light nicely shines through the parts where the hair is thinner. So I tweaked the lighting and hair a little bit to get closer to the cycles image, and here it is, my final EV render on the right. Looking at the render times, just like in my previous videos, EV speed is simply amazing and makes the imperfections compared to cycles look very minor. And of course, one could spend more time perfecting things. Please let me know in the comments which final render you like better and why. If you have any tips or tricks that might come in handy or suggestions for me to improve, I look forward to your constructive criticism. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Blender videos. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.